Hi everyone, welcome to Godly Play today. Uh, I wanna welcome you by asking if you're ready. And we'll start by taking a deep breath together to help ourselves get ready. The Lord be with you. We're also going to look at our uh, calendar, the circle of the church year, to see where we are right now. We, oops, here we go. Here is Christmas, here is Easter, here is Pentecost, and we have gone through so much of the green growing time. We are almost to this purple time of getting ready for Christmas. Today's story takes place in the desert. We need a little piece of it here in our classroom to tell our stories. It comes from many different books of the Bible um, it comes from some of the Chronicles in the Old Testament, as well as Ezra and Nehemiah, and even some Psalms. When you look on the shelf in our classroom, you can find this story using this icon, this picture. And also, we use the people of God. Desert is a dangerous place. There's no food or water. The sun beats down hot during the day and it's very cold at night. The wind pushes the sand and changes the shape of the desert so people can get lost easily. The wind whips the sand against your skin and can sting you. People have to wear special clothes to keep them cool during the day and warm at night to protect them from the sand. The desert is a dangerous place. And people don't go there unless they have to. This is Jerusalem. The city is surrounded by walls. And inside the city is a temple. The people of God live there.
they worship God at the temple, they feel God's presence so close to them. And they live inside the city walls that they believe will keep them safe from anything. One time, the Assyrians came to Jerusalem and they attacked the people. The people of God fought hard. It was a very hard time and some of the people starved. Eventually, the Assyrians went away. Later, the Babylonians came and they attacked Jerusalem and they did not go away. They broke down the city walls. burned the temple. Jerusalem was destroyed. They took people Only a few of them left in Jerusalem. Many of the people had to go where the soldiers were telling them to go. They could only eat when the soldiers told them to eat. to lie down and the soldiers told them to lie down. They were forced to leave their home. was a very, very long journey. Some of them even died. People of God, were in exile. They could not go back home. They missed their city. They looked toward where it had been, where the smoke rose up, and wondered if they would ever see it again. sing sad songs under the weeping, weeping willow trees. When they were in Babylon, they felt that God wasn't with them at first. 
they knew he had been in the temple in Jerusalem. They even faced Jerusalem when they prayed. But over time, as they told stories together and read scriptures and prayed with each other, they realized that God was here too. God's presence was also near to them in this place. They set up their life in Babylon. They built homes and planted gardens. Some people worked, they even worked for the king of Babylon. There were prophets in this time that told the people of Israel how to live, how to come close to God, and how to listen to what God wanted. Everyone was surprised when the king from Persia came and wanted to take Babylon for himself. He actually told the people of God that they could go back home. Some of them did. Some went with Ezra. They worked on rebuilding the temple. Others went with Nehemiah. They worked building the walls of Jerusalem. But an interesting thing happened. Not all the people went back home. Some of them stayed because they knew now that God could be with them even in this strange and foreign land. People of God were no longer in exile. They knew that God could be here or there, that God would be with them wherever they went. Now I wonder, what part of the story was your favorite part? I wonder what part of the story is most important. I wonder if there's any part of the story that we can leave out and still have everything we need. I wonder if the routes of traveling in this story remind you of any other stories. I wonder how the people of God who stayed in Babylon felt. I wonder how the people who returned to Jerusalem and rebuilt the city felt. I wonder what part of the story might be especially for you today or about you. Where might you be in this story? I wonder what you wonder about. Thank you for joining me today, friends.
God, thank you that you are with us here and there. You're with us in our church building. You're with us when we are at home. You're with us when we gather together as people of the river, and you're with us when we're in our families, in our living rooms. Thank you, God, for being with us wherever we go. Bless all the children watching today and their families. In Jesus' name.